Hello everyone, it's been a long time, but I uh, just got back from QuakeCon 2014 and I decided it's time to make a video after being absent for a very, very long time. So, uh, if y'all are hungry, I know that I am. Let's bite in some tech goodness and uh, get on to the review about the Fios E7 headphone, DAC, and amplifier combo that you can pretty much find anywhere on the web for a great price compared to, let's say, Mayflower Electronics. Uh, DAC, uh, but it does reproduce sound quality quite well. Uh, let's go ahead and t start talking about some facts. I have no clue what some of the stuff means other than the ohm, which is pretty much the power that it needs, or the power that it sends out to your headphones. Uh, this one has a 16 ohm to 300 ohm output power, so let's say if you're running something like a pair of I don't know, DT880s, a 250 ohm, you'll have plenty of enough power to power those and use them to their full potential. And um, pretty much uh, your output power is just the power that the headphone itself needs to power the actual uh, speakers, I suppose, or, or, or God, I'm sounding like an idiot. Audio files are gonna be correcting me left and right, you Nazis. Anyways, 16 ohm, 300 ohm power output as well, it has a built-in rechargeable battery, so this is an on-the-go DAC that you can use pretty much anywhere as long as you charge it up through the USB port on the bottom. Um, uh, the battery life, I really don't know. I've really never ran it dead, and I've had it on. I forgot to turn it off one time for two or three days, and it was still running, so... Um, take that for a grain of salt, but normally whenever I have it at my desk, I have it plugged into my USB output so I can use the digital audio converter or digital to analog conversion that's built into it, which is the DAC. Um, speaking of that, it does have two outputs on the top for shared listening, uh, which is pretty nifty if you and someone else, significant other, or a friend want to listen to the same thing or watch the same movie, you can just both plug into this on top and you're set. Uh, another great thing I do love about this uh, DAC amplifier is that it has a multitude of inputs you can either go through USB, aux, or if you have a Fios um, desktop amp, the larger amplification device, which can increase your amplification, I think up to 600 ohms or even higher, you can plug it in through that and then let it charge as well as um, use, I guess, some of this power as long as that. And I'm not for sure how it works. Somebody can comment down below. I don't know. I'm sorry. I I'm not a audio file and I didn't do enough research on this because I'm very professional. Um, now it does have a really nice OLED display which I will show a little bit more up close probably right now uh, and whenever you turn it on your volume is what's going to be displayed first in the top left corner you have your bass, USB and all that good stuff. Um, whenever you go in to the menu you have like system firmware EQ, which is your bass, boost, uh, US charging on or off. You can choose for it to charge when it's plugged into USB, which supposedly creates some type of uh, uh, feedback if you have it plugged in through USB while it's charging and it's in use, but I've never noticed it. But yet again, I'm not an audiophile. Uh, you got sleep on or off. Do you want it to go into sleep mode whenever you don't use it? Key lock, where none of the keys will be hit, like if you have it in your pocket. You got your max volume, you can set it up to however high you want it. I just have it at the maximum 60. Um, and now to get on to the next thing, uh, the build quality. Now, build quality is really, really nice for something that's made in China for the price. Uh, this is just pennies on the dollar for a USB DAC and amp. Um, and it works really well. It reproduces sound quality pretty damn awesome. Uh, it amplifies it really nice and uh, works really well with my DT880s. The actual device itself has an aluminum rim around it as well as an aluminum back, which feels just really nice and it has a decent heft. It's not too heavy, but it's not too light. Uh, all the buttons are metal on one end as well as the screen itself has a mirror-like uh, quality, I suppose. And the device itself comes with quite a few accessories. It comes with a USB cable, which you should get anyways, an aux cable, which I wasn't expecting, a little bitty rubber case right here that you can put on and just slip it on like 
So, if it'll go on. No? You're going to be a... Okay, there we go. And it slips on like that, as well as a screen protector for the front, which is a really nice little added accessory for a device uh, that costs so little. Um, overall, it's just a really good device. Um, it's on the go. You can use it at your desk. It reproduces the sound really well. It converts it very well. It, everything's clear. It works well with 250 ohm professional grade headphones. And um, um, the feature set with like the bass boost and all that is something really nice on such a cheap product. Um, overall, really nice product if you want a cheap DAC and amplifier. I would definitely get it if you have the change laying around and you don't have a DAC yet. Um, yeah, I definitely would recommend this. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs up, all that good stuff. Uh, and I will see you on the next video. Hey, hey. No? Okay. Well, bye-bye.